You're not going to believe what we found in this video. Clever mechanic here again. You're not going to want to miss this one. We got a GMC uh, came in crank, no start. So story behind this is customer had a failed vacuum pump. Um, he put the new vacuum pump in, engine started up fine, ran for, he said ran for about 15 minutes and then it just died and uh, wouldn't restart. So then he had it towed to us and uh, here we are. So I'm going to go over what we found. Um, how to fix it and not only that i'm going to show you how to actually get this running without any tools or anything um if if for some reason uh this happens to strand you so you're going to want to watch to the end and i will reveal how we do that so we got 108,000 miles customer did his vacuum pump now the car doesn't run looked at the scan tool data we got a couple uh crank sensor codes cam sensor codes which you're not always gonna necessarily have. So um, I guess first thing one of the techs did is, you know, they threw a new cam and crank sensor in it. That did not fix the problem. So we got the lovely uh, 1.5 liter Ecotech um, turbocharged motor. So this is also gonna apply for the 1.4 liters. First thing we observe, there is a new vacuum pump, which is located right down in here. So after some preliminary diagnostic, we found that the cam sensor was out of sync. So after doing a little research online, they actually have a service bulletin for this particular problem. So what happens is the vacuum pump's got a little keyway on the on the back of it. It breaks off and this actually engages into the camshaft. And we actually have the camshaft right here. So this little guy engages in here. Um, I'm also going to reveal the service bulletin on this. It's going to show you how to see if this uh, reluctor wheel is lined up properly. And But what happens is uh, the end of this breaks off gets caught in here and it causes this reluctor wind ring to spin on the end of the camshaft because it gets jammed up in there because this is this is just pressed on that's what happened in this case so we did end up installing a new camshaft in this vehicle and it did fix the problem um, in order to do that it is a pretty substantial job about six hours of labor if you had to bring it to your local repair shop probably fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars got to pull the valve cover you got to pull the timing cover the oil pan all that stuff. Good old quality 1.5 liter GMC. So this is the way the camshaft should be oriented, opposed to here. You can see the two arrows here, the reluctor wheel. So what happens is this actually spins on the end of the camshaft. And the reason that happens, this is part of the old vacuum pump right here. And as you can see, this is kind of, this is a new vacuum pump. So this was actually sitting kind of like this. It broke off. And then it got lodged in the end of this camshaft like this, which makes this pressed on reluctor wheel spin on the end of the crankshaft. So here's our old crankshaft right here. And you can see, you can see the damage to it. You can see the damage to it there. And also you can see where that piece got bound up in between the motor and this uh, reluctor wheel. It spun this reluctor wheel almost 180 degrees on this one. So you can see we got our new camshaft installed um, that involves pulling. We had to pull the valve cover. We had to pull the timing cover. So it's a pretty big job. But uh, I'm going to show you how to check this at the end of the video here without having to take anything apart whatsoever. And it will also get your vehicle running. All right. So GM actually has a service bulletin on this. I'm going to scroll down through it. So if you want to pause and read it or slow down the video, you can. But um, right here we're checking the vacuum pump for damage, we're checking the camshaft, we're checking the camshaft orientation to the reluctor ring, and they're showing you how you can also check this in the vehicle. But uh, so GM obviously know, knows this is a known problem because they have a service bulletin on here, but this is some pretty valuable information if you're trying to uh, diagnose this problem. And as you can see, this is applicable on multiple different models. You got the e Encore, Cruise, Equinox, Malibu, Spark, Terrain, um, all the 1.5 liters and 1.4 liters. So if you find yourself in this predicament, all you have to do is actually you will need a 10 millimeter bolt just to pull this engine cover off. So this is the valve cover right here. And your cam sensor is located right here. All you have to do to find out if this is your problem is unplug your cam sensor. If you unplug that cam sensor and the vehicle starts, then I can about 100% guarantee you that is the reason why your vehicle is not running.
So you're going to want to go check out this other video here because there's a lot of different reasons if you have timing codes or if your vehicle isn't starting or cranking or not starting. Um, a lot of different things that can cause that. And if you're having camera crank sensor codes, this video right here will definitely help.